Hello all, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. Today we will see printing star patterns using SQL. This is part 26 of this video series. I will have the links in the description for the previous parts of this video series. So let's get started. So today we are going to solve these three problems. One is printing 5 star 5 star patterns and a diamond star pattern with maximum of 9 stars in between and then 5 star 7 star pattern right so if you see we have 5 rows and 5 columns and here we have 5 rows and 7 columns in the diamond star patterns right here we have maximum of 9 rows 9 stars in between and then it is 7, 5, 3, 1. So basically it's a diamond pattern. So let's see how we can achieve this using SQL. So let's go back to SQL Server Management Studio to start writing the query. So currently we are in SQL Server Management Studio and uh, we are going to print 5 star 5 star pattern. Right? Before jumping onto this uh, solving the problem let's understand a couple of things here so let's understand what is a replicate function in SQL Server so the replicate function is used to replicate a string the number of times we specify for example if I specify select replicate so it takes two arguments and uh, you know if I say if I give a string with a space and I want it to repeat it by six times example so let me fire this query so let me name it as derived string right so it has replicated the string six times whatever the string we give here right it will replicate by the number of times we specify here and the next thing is so I have specified one space here right so that means I'm we don't know when we specify more than one space we don't know how many spaces it is so to make it more readable we use a function called space so let me add it we concatenate and we'll say space space is a function which says how many spaces uh, we want to place it there so if I want to place three spaces right we can have space and we can pass three into that let's execute this so we can see there are three spaces after the string right so this is what we, sh we should understand before we solve this problem right so one is replicate function the other one is space function space is uh, we are using just to make it more readable suppose if any other developer reads our code they should understand okay the developer is using three spaces after this particular string right let's go ahead and solve this problem so let me fire this query first and let's start um, understanding the query right so in this star pattern right we have rows we have five rows here and five columns here right I'm defining two variables rows and columns each of them having five now I am writing a while loop here with rows greater than zero and I'm decrementing the counter and I'm using the replicate function as star so I want to replicate star with two spaces after printing the stars and I want to replicate it based on the number of columns right that's why I have passed the columns here so previously we have seen that we have printed replicated the string six times so we are going to do the same here right and after that it will decrement the counter and it will loop through five times and it will print five times the star so we are just uh, making it as constant for columns because we have five columns printed 
right we want to print five columns so for in each iteration it will print five columns it will replicate the star by five times and it will decrement the counter right this is how we can achieve five star five pattern right let's go ahead and check the next pattern which is five star seven pattern so here also we do the same thing so basically we have rows as five and columns as seven so i'm just using the column as seven and i'm just looping through five times so i'm just starting with zero so the rows is starting with five and i'm evaluating this rows greater than zero and then i'm decrementing the counter so that it will loop through five times and it will replicate the star with two spaces seven times so that's how we can retrieve the five star seven pattern so it's a pretty much same as the previous one so let's go ahead and see the next problem that is the printing a diamond shape so for that we are using three variables one is the counter variable the other one is maximum number of stars in the middle of the diamond right and we are using a space counter right let's understand uh, with one example so here i have a notepad with iteration how it will uh, how the values the variable values will change in each iteration right we are printing the spaces and we are replicating the stars and we are using couple of variables to derive how many spaces we want and how many stars we want so basically based on these particular calculations we are deriving those values here right so let's see the iterations so in the first iteration the counter will be 0 max id is 9 and space is 1 only the counter and space values will be derived here and it keeps on changing in each iteration right so let's quickly check the iteration the counter is 0 in the first iteration counter 0 is less than 9 so it will enter the loop and max id is 9 space is 1 so 9 minus 1 is 8 8 by 2 is 4 so we are trying to print four spaces and then we are printing space is 1 and we are replicating the star so four spaces plus one star let's count it we have one star here and then one two three four so we have four spaces one two three four and then five that is the star so that's how the four spaces and one star will be printed and after that we are checking a if condition just to derive the space so the counter we are incrementing by one and then we are checking whether the counter is less than or equal to max id by two here the max id is int that is nine nine by two is 4.5 since we are deriving it as int it will round off to four so the counter one is less than four so this is condition is true it will increment the spaces by two so one plus two is three and it keeps on incrementing until the value four you now the counter becomes five once it reaches five it start decrementing the space value so it will go to the else part once it the counter value reaches five right that's how we keep printing the diamond pattern right so this is the iteration uh, in each iteration this is the values for it is going to print so i'll have this uh, iteration also in the description of the video or in my blog so that you can refer all the scripts will be available in the in my blog as well as in the description so if it is if it is not possible to place in the description i'll I'll keep a link for my blog so that you can refer. You can copy these scripts and you can explore. That's all for today and uh, we can meet in the next session. Till then, take care of yourself. Have a great day. Thank you for listening.